what's going on. Alright, well, I'm packing up, getting ready to hit Dunkin' Donuts, because I gotta wake up. It's a rainy day. Maybe that'll mean maybe that'll mean there's less people there. And then we're gonna take this beautiful Vaquero for the first time at the range. This gun is gonna be fired. It is fully loaded. It's a six shooter, 45 long colt, single action, beautiful cowboy gun. Alright, let's go. This might be this might be bad. Let's see. Well here we are. We're in the brand new grocery getter. But hey, it's reliable and uh, it, uh, probably will not break down. Damn, girl. Anyway, we're on our way to the range. Uh, I've got to stop at Dunkin' Donuts because whew, I can't function without a cup of coffee right now. And, uh, you know, I had a fucked up day yesterday. Not too bad, but pretty fucked up. Took my car to get inspected. They changed the oil. You know, no charge. Filled up the t tank of gas. That's why I, kept, I buy my cars there. Yeah, this is like the fourth car we bought there. You know, because of my family. Not the fourth car we bought there. And uh, they treat us really good, so I keep going there. And uh, I'm waiting for my car for the inspection I go to pick it up and the valet said dude you look like Joe Pesci now listen you, someone's going to say I look like Joe Pesci that's where I draw the line I've heard De Niro I've heard Andy Garcia I've heard of Fat Stallone that's fine you call me Joe Pesci there's something wrong I might have his temper I don't look like the dude so I say you know what I gotta, I gotta get to the barber so I went to the barber and of course Every time I go to get my hair cut, I always get stuck with the guy that just started out, the trainee. So, now, of course it was a girl. Well, of course, she cut my hair too short. So now I look like fucking Beaker from the Muppets. So now I'll be wearing a hat for a month. And, uh... Yeah, I was going to tell you yesterday. Listen, man. If you if you're on YouTube, I don't know if this is even going to help any because I know it's like talking to a fucking wall to some people. If you see a channel and you don't like it, you hate it, you despise it, it's horrible, it's unsafe, it's a mess. You know, you can't stand it. Don't troll people, man. I I mean, there there are so many not so many. There's like three people on YouTube I despise. I despise. I can't stand them. I hate their guts. But I don't troll them. I don't hit their dislikes. I don't do that. As a matter of fact, none of us do that. Bill don't do that. I don't do that. Hasman, Matt, Gun Skinny, Tom. We don't go around hitting fucking people's dislikes. We try to ignore, you know, people that... I don't know if they're jealous of us or why they're always they're obsessed with us. They're like stalkers. We I mean, try to try to take the the approach to ignore them, but it ain't working. So, you know, it's it's unbelievable. These people troll you, and then and then you def you defend yourself, and they get mad because you're defending yourself. Unbelievable, ain't it? So I, I know you guys are seeing drama on our pages and all, but you know we're, we're just. Uh, we're kind of turning it into a funny thing, because what are you going to do? Be pissed every day? You know what I mean? You got these assholes making, making remarks, threatening Bill. Bill? The dude's threatening Bill. Let me tell you something. <clears throat> That's a, That would be the biggest mistake he ever made.
Wow. Wow. Damn, this gun shoots even more accurate. Wow. Very surprised. I mean, I know it's only 25 feet, but check that out. First time with a cowboy gun. That's six rounds. I am not putting five rounds in a revolver. It's ridiculous. Pretty good. All right, let's keep going. Let's see if we can get our center. Right now, I'm all awkward and shaking and goofy and fucked up and all that. All right, hold on. I right, wheeled her out a little further and uh, see if I can relax a little bit and uh, see if I can get center on target. All I'm really doing is concentrating on the front sight, really. That's all I'm doing. That's five, but we got one more. Shush. Damn, it's pretty damn accurate. All right, I gotta try to get this thing center now. There we go. We got one more, right? Well, I'm still shooting to the left. What? It's shooting. Great. Now here you got a gun, here you have a gun that's designed from the 18th century. Look how nice that shoots. Really? I can't even shoot like that with my Glock. Cowboys, cowboy guns ain't no joke. You know why though? The Ruger Vaquero has a beautiful trigger. It is just unbelievable, and it's stock out of the box. Look at that. Man, this is pretty cool. I thought I was going to be all over the place, man. Alright. Got two rounds left.
Make it one hole, but not in the center. I got one in the center. Last round. Figures, right? Let's check it out. I put the new target up. I was kind of all over the place, but then I relaxed my body, adjusted myself, and got on target again. And uh, there's the one center. <laughs> but a couple flyers, but then I zeroed in there. And uh, excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent revolver, man. I almost called it a pistol, see? It's hard not to call it a pistol. Beautiful gun. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Sorry if it was kind of messy. I didn't think it'd do too bad. See. Oh, man. That was kind of fun. You know, that 45 long call round's fun. Especially for me, because it don't hurt my wrist too bad. Because I'm gay. And, uh, that was really fun. I, I didn't think I would like it that much. I look at that gun in a whole other light now. Really, really amazing. Uh, I thought I was really going to have a hard time shooting that thing because of the big sight in the front. But guess what? Doesn't seem to be an issue whatsoever. You know, I mean, I never shot in competition. Maybe it might be when you're under them kind of conditions, but... <clears throat> If that gun can shoot like that, uh, with no experience, I can just imagine how good it can shoot when you practice. So, uh, the only thing I was a little disappointed, I couldn't get it, like, I couldn't get it bullseye center. I was, I was, I kept going to the left, to the left. And, uh, but that's, that ain't bad. It was just a little to the left. As long as my groups are touching each other, I'm pretty happy. But I would love my groups to touch each other dead center. And I can do that. Um, yeah, I can do that with my Colt 1911. So we shot the Cowboy gun. We shot the Smith & Wesson 686 revolver. We shot the Glock 23. We shot the, uh, what else did we shoot? I'm trying to think of all the handguns. The uh, SIG P238. And uh, we shot the... Um, a long time ago, the Springfield GI 1911 and the Colt Commander. And so far, the Colt Commander for me holds the crown in accuracy. So far, because well, for some reason, the ergonomics and the trigger with the Colt, I don't have to constantly try to adjust myself to get that round to go more straight for me. It, it naturally points straight for me, and I can actually naturally shoot straight with it. Damn, can't talk. So that, that's the deal, you know. Every, you know, you might shoot better with with a revolver. You might shoot better with your Glock. Everyone's body's different. You got different size hands. Your bones are different. Your your some people have longer forearms than others. So it, it depends uh, on your body frame, how you're built, and how comfortable you are when you're shooting. I, I mean, that's what I come up with. That's, yeah, I'm not an expert by no means, but uh, you guys know I don't shoot often. That's the biggest complaint on my channel is uh, people want me to do more shooting. Well, that's that's about as good as it gets because that range, I was dying to fan that Recaro, dying to fan that thing. But I mean, you can't do that there. They'll, all, the, all the old dudes, they'll all come flying out in their wheelchairs and, and they'll be coming at me with their rascals. They got like, they got hover rounds with a turbo in it. They'll be in there, they'll be over there in two seconds, so I can't do it. So, there you go. If I ever get a better range, maybe we can shoot more and get to be a better shot and can shoot more fun stuff. But as for now, that's as good as it got. But at least you've seen the, the Vaquero in action. And I'll tell you, it has a Cadillac feeling to it. Everything feels like butter. The action, the hammer, and even the round, the, the 45 long call round is, it's, it's, it's just pure fun. That's all. Uh, I can imagine them guys when they ca when they cowboy shoot. That's a lot of. That's got to be a lot of fun. Once you get comfortable with a with, with a uh, revolver like that, and you can hit anything, man, that's got to be a ton of fun. 